Welcome to the public meeting for the Northeast 36th Avenue Widening Design Project. This public meeting is about the future widening and related improvements, including a bridge over the CSX Railroad along Northeast 36th Avenue in Ocala, located in Marion County, Florida. This project consists of three segments from State Road 492 or Northeast 14th Street to Northeast 35th Street. This presentation will cover a project overview, project updates by segment with a focus on segment two, ways you can share your comments, and project contacts. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns relative to DOT compliance with Title VI may do so by contacting either Jennifer Smith, Title VI Coordinator for District 5, or Jacqueline Paramore, who is Statewide Title VI Coordinator for DOT. This contact information also is on a display board at tonight's meeting. In addition, Title VI complaint cards are available tonight at the comments table, so you may fill those out while you're here and leave them behind at the sign-in table. All inquiries or complaints will be handled according to DOT procedures and in a prompt and courteous manner. The Northeast 36th Avenue project has been divided into three design segments. Segment 1 is from Northeast 14th Street to Northeast 20th Place. Segment 2 is from Northeast 20th Place to Northeast 25th Street. Segment 3 is from Northeast 25th Street to Northeast 35th Street. To date, 90% plans have been submitted for DOT and agency review, and the project team has received those review comments. In addition, final right-of-way maps have been reviewed and approved. It is this final review that has led to changes in Segment 2 and some minor adjustments in Segments 1 and 3. The realignment in Segment 2 has involved a redesign, which is 60% complete. Let's begin with Segment 2 which is the focus of tonight's meeting. Segment 2 is the part of Northeast 36th Avenue from Northeast 20th Place to Northeast 25th Street. Today there is an at-grade crossing with the CSX Railroad. The roadway typical section is the same for all three segments, and it is the same one that was presented at the November public meeting. The new roadway will have two travel lanes in each direction, with each lane 12 feet wide. Buffered bicycle lanes that will be 5 feet wide. Sidewalks that will be 6 feet wide. And a 20 foot median. To accommodate these changes, a total of 102 feet of right of way will be needed. Since the existing Northeast 36th Avenue has 60 feet of right of way, additional right of way will be needed. In Segment 2, a bridge will be constructed over the CSX Railroad, separating vehicles, pedestrians, and bicyclists traveling along Northeast 36th Avenue from the rail traffic along CSX. The bridge will be 95 feet 2 inches in width and will include the same features as the roadway. The same typical section was presented at the November public meeting. Segment 2 is the only project segment that is funded for design, right-of-way acquisition, and construction. After more detailed review of the parcel impacts, it was determined that shifting the alignment 40 feet to the east, just south of the CSX rail line, would eliminate the need for additional right-of-way from three parcels on the west side of Northeast 36th Avenue, which are the Sitco gas station, public storage, and Setzer's Appliances. The two bridges over the CSX rail line also will shift to the east. This shift also reduces the impact on easements for the overhead power lines on the west side of the roadway. This shift allows the existing Northeast 36th Avenue roadway to be used as part of the new access road, which will also be used during the construction of the bridges. With the new access road alignment, the geometry of the bridge changes, which will improve driver visibility beneath the bridge. 
By using more of the Living Hope Community Church's property, the access road has also been realigned. It now matches existing driveways at Northeast 21st Street and at Griffin Industrial Park. The access road changes also provide a larger area for a retention pond, which will be more efficient than the two ponds presented in the original design. For the realigned Northeast 24th Street, the sidewalk along the north side will be extended to the west to serve the Center for Independent Living. All other features from the intersection northward remain unchanged. In summary, benefits of shifting the alignment to the east, reduces parcel acquisition costs, utilizes the existing two-lane roadway as the access road west of the realignment, reduces utility relocation impacts, provides more efficient drainage design on the church property, and slightly reduces the roadway and drainage construction costs due to the pond efficiencies on the church property. Now let's review Segment 1, which is located just south of Segment 2. It includes the part of Northeast 36th Avenue from Northeast 14th Street to Northeast 20th Place. This segment is funded only for design. The only change in Segment 1 is the minor shift in the alignment at the north end. This shift of less than 7 feet will allow Segment 1 to match up with the realignment in Segment 2. Segment 3 is just north of Segment 2 and includes the part of Northeast 36th Avenue from Northeast 25th Street to Northeast 35th Street. There are no changes in this segment from the November public meeting, although a noise analysis is underway at the north end. This segment is funded only for design. Plans for the intersection at Northeast 35th Street will match up with Marion County's future design plans to widen Northeast 35th Street in this area. Final design plans will be submitted to DOT by August 16th. Only Segment 2 is funded for additional project phases. Right-of-way acquisition is underway and should be completed by Spring 2019 with construction to follow. The project team has met with agency stakeholders as design plans were developed. This coordination ensures that the Northeast 36th Avenue improvements are consistent with local plans and priorities, including the widening of Northeast 35th Street. For more information about this project, please visit cflroads.com. This website is designed to keep you and the public informed about ongoing and future projects. When you visit this site, you will be able to view the current project schedule details, project contact information, and access project files such as this presentation. On the main page from the pull-down menu labeled City, select Ocala, then click on the search box. When the new page opens, click the link labeled Design. This new page lists all the design projects in Ocala, including the three segments for the Northeast 36th Avenue project. These instructions also are included in the project handout you received as you signed in. Here is how you may share your comments with the project team. You may fill out a comment form tonight and drop it in the comments box. You also may take a comment form with you and mail it or email it to Heather Johnstone as noted on the form. Also, you may submit comments when you visit the Central Florida Roads website by using the Ask a Question button. All comments postmarked or emailed by July 28th will be included in the meeting summary. If you have any questions or would like more information about this project, you may contact Heather Johnstone, the DOT Project Manager, or Jean Quinn, the Consultant Project Manager. Both may be reached either by mail, email, or telephone. Thank you for taking the time to attend this public meeting. We appreciate your interest and participation in this important project.